Hello everyone, it's Ashley here for Not Too Shabby and I'm going to be sharing my design team project for this week. I will put the link below for the products that I share and if you do head over to the shop, you can use my coupon code CRAFTYGIRL to save 10% on your order. So for my project today, I made this really cute little shaker card. As most of you know, I'm obsessed with sparkle and so I totally blinged out this cute little card and I have little sequins in that little hug spot. And then I've got this little cutie popping out of that little box and she looks like she's ready to give a big hug. So I will share the products that I used and then I'll get right into the process video. So first up, I use this MFT stamp set and it's called Forever Friends or Friends Forever. And I used the little bear, the puppy, and also the little bird. I also pulled in this stamp set, Octopi My Heart by Lawn Fawn. I just really wanted to be able to put a little bow on the bear. So that's all I used from that stamp set. I used this hugs die, it's called Big Hugs, and it's by MFT, and it is so cute to make a little shaker element on your card. I used these fancy scallop rectangle stackables, and I used the largest one for the outside part of my card. Then I used the Lawn Fawn large cross stitch rectangle stackables, and I used the largest one for my background. I also pulled in from my stash this cute little box die. It's from the Mama Elephant All Pretty Up and just so that I could put that little box there for the bear to be popping out of. I used a few paper pads. This one is Cream and Sugar by Doodlebug, the MFT Farm Fresh Gingham, and also by Lawn Fawn. Oops, I have my little not too shabby card in there. Also by Lawn Fawn, I used this pattern paper Let's Polka. And then I also used this for the plastic part of my shaker card and this is just plastic wrap from the Dollarama and it just I believe people use it to wrap up gift baskets or that kind of thing so I just use that for my shaker components. I use some clear sequins and also these little pots that you can get from Michaels. I use the pink and yellow confetti and also those little pink hearts. And then last thing I used was this doodle bug spring assortment twine and I just have some twine there at the top. So that is my card and I'm going to get started with the process video. So to start out with I'm just stamping out my images using my Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink and I am using Recollections 120 pound cardstock. I'm just stamping out the little puppy, that bear, and then also that little bird. And then I decided I wanted that little bow there so I could have little pigtails for the bear. So for the bowls, I'm using RV06, RV04, and RV02, and that is my favorite pink color combo. For the little bird's beak, I'm just using YR07 and YR04. For the body of the bird, B02 and B00. And then I just go back in to blend it out. And then for the body of the bird, the more larger part of the bird, I'm using B05, B02, and B00. And I love using those colors for blue birds. Now for the dog, I'm gonna use some warm grays. I'm using W3 for the dark shadow of the dog and W1 to blend that out. And then I'm gonna go back in with W3 just to darken it up a little bit. And then W1 just to blend that out. I take R20 for the little cheeks of the bird and also the dog. And then I just use my white jelly pen to add a little dot on the cheeks. And I use my black jelly pen for the eyes and the nose. Now for the bear, for both the little like mouth and the ears, I'm using E55 and E53. Then for the darker part of the bear, I'm using E59 and E57. And at that part, I smudged the black jelly pen on my dog and his little eye got smeared. So I do go back and recolor him later. Um, not in this video, but just on my own time. So then I did the ears, um, blended it out with E55 as well. And this bear is gonna be a little bit darker. Then I'm just doing his legs and the shading with E59. E57 and E55. And then I'm just doing his body. 
And I find if I do it in sections, I don't have to blend as much because the Copic marker is still wet, so my paper is saturated and it's easier to blend that out. And then I'm doing his head, which is E59, and I get some dark underneath his little muzzle there, and E57. And then blending that all out with E55. And it does take a little bit of blending to get it all blended out, but I think when I'm finished, it looked looks really cute. I love this little bear so much. He's so precious. And then I do color up the little muzzle and the ears a little bit more just for some more depth. And I do fuss with the colors a little bit. I just want to get a really nice blend. Then I take R20 for the cheeks and I use my white jelly pen to add three little dots. And then I just add on the eyes and nose with my black jelly pen and I redid that little puppy like editing magic. <laughs> and now I'm just taking my sewing scissors to cut these out. This does come with coordinating dies which I will link below as well but for this project, I just used my fussy cutting scissors. I really like fussy cutting, so I'm totally fine just fussy cutting these out. The bows were a little bit more tricky. Now I'm just doing that little bear, and I took my black jelly pen and I added dots on his little hands, and it looks so cute. It makes it look shiny and wet like an animal's nose would or like a dog's nose, so it just looks really cute. It's a nice finishing touch. And then I put the bows on and they're so cute. I decided I didn't want the white around the bow though, so I went back and trimmed off the white so it just is right on the black line. And I thought that looked better. Then I'm just going to add a little white line and a dot on the dog's nose. And then I'm just trimming him out. Then I'm going to get started with the die cutting. So I'm taking this yellow paper and this scalloped die, the largest size, and I'm just cutting this out. And this is gonna be the piece that I die cut the hugs out of. So I'm taking that, and originally I had a different background paper, so that's why you see that heart one, but I felt it was a little much, so I do change that. I don't show that part in the video. So then I'm just putting that hugs die on there, and I was just setting the stamp set on there so I could see how it would fit. And I just take some post-it note tape and run that through my die cutting machine. And then that is the part that's going to be the shaker. As you can see, it was a little much with that um, bright background. So I'm going to use this pink one as my background. So I'm just cutting that out using the large stackable die. And then you can see it looks a lot better. Then I take some foam and this is adhesive foam. It has sticky on the other side. So just using the largest die, I'm cutting out two of those. Actually, this is the second largest die. It's a little bit smaller. And then I'm taking the hugs and just kind of putting it through that little um, spot where it had hugs. And by pushing it down, it gave a little bit of an indentation and then I was able to align it where I wanted it. So I set that on top, push it down, it gives the indentation, and then I can put it in the exact same spot for both of them. And now they line up really nicely and I'll be able to use it as a shaker tag. So then again, I take that second largest die and I cut out my little clear packaging for the part of the shaker. I then take that pink paper and I'm just cutting out that little box. I think it's so cute for the teddy bear to be coming out of the box. And now's my favorite part to assemble everything. So to start out with, I'm just putting the little bows on the little bear's ear on both sides. And I just think that adds so much cuteness on there. And then I'm going to take this A2 sized card and I'm just adhering this cardstock piece on top of there. Then I'm going to adhere that acetate sheet or like the clear plastic sheet to the back there. So I'm just adding some adhesive and putting that on there. I also add a little adhesive just so that those pieces of the letter stick down better. I just stick it under there a little bit. Then I'm taking these little adhesive pieces and it does have adhesive so it saves me having to do a lot of gluing which is nice and I'm just adhering that on there and it didn't fit perfectly which was totally fine. I just trimmed off that little excess with my sewing scissors. And then I am going to just make sure that it will align there nicely and I'm adding some adhesive to the front part here. 
and making sure that there's none hanging over that hugs part because I wanna make sure that it's going to be able to shake with the shaker components. Then I am putting on my card base and again, adding a little bit of adhesive there. And it's so cute, I really like how this part turned out. So now I'm just taking some of this Doodlebug twine. This is in the Bubblegum Assortment. It's from the Spring Assortment Pack. And I'm just doubling it up and putting a cute little bow along the top here. And I think it's cute because there's little bits of pink popping out, so I think that pink color is just perfect. And I'm just fussing with the bow there. Then I just cut off the ends and I take a little bit of adhesive just so it will stay put. Now I'm going to add in my little shaker bits. So I'm taking some of these yellow confetti bits and these are from Michaels and I'm just making sure that they all fit in that little spot that I'm adding in a little bit of pink. And then I'm just taking some of those pink hearts and I'm just kind of brushing it in and making sure. And as I kept taking that off screen, I was holding it up so that I could look under and see how full it was. So that's what I was doing there. Then I'm just removing this adhesive very, very carefully. I don't want any of those little confetti bits to stick there. And sorry, I'm a teeny bit out of frame. Then I'm taking the card base and I'm just going to kind of flop it on there. And that part was really tricky, but I felt that was the only way for me to do it. And it went off center, but I actually really like that, how it was kind of like had the pink on one side and not the other. So I'm totally happy with that. So now I'm just setting everything on. So I'll see how it's going to look. And I'm just adhering those little box pieces together. And then I'm gonna put the little bear so that she is popping out and her arms are open so it looks like she is just ready to give a big hug. It's so cute. And this card is so cute for like a get well card or a thinking of you card or even a birthday card I think this would be cute for. Then I'm just putting that little dog there and I just kind of put it on the side of the box. And then I think the bird looks cute on the right there. It just used up that little bit of extra space that I had. Then I'm just taking some four millimeter clear sequins and I just wanted to have a little bit more sparkle and have a little bit of that empty space taken up. So sparkle is the way to go. I always feel you can't have too much sparkle. I know sometimes more is less, but for me, I always just go there with the sparkle. I love it so much. So now I have those adhered down and there is my card. So I will have all the products linked below. Thank you so much for watching and I love hearing your comments. And if you haven't, please subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next video, guys. Bye now.